Hi, Milo here with another quick Fast Keys tutorial. Sometimes it can be useful to move your cursor to a specific location within your phrase after expanding it so you can continue writing from that point. We can do this. Here I have a phrase, a simple email template. After expanding, I want my cursor to be in this position so I can continue to enter the customer's name. To do this, I'll put my cursor here and go to the cursor icon and select cursor position macro. The cursor position field gets saved into the text. After running the abbreviation, I get my expanded phrase, but with my cursor in the right position to add the recipient's name. Another typical example would be within coding. Let's see this simple div statement. Each div class will be different, so I want to place the cursor in between these quotation marks. I'll select the macro again and set the abbreviation. This expands my code and places the cursor between the quotation marks so I can name this class like this. And it doesn't stop there. Fast Keys has other tricks up its sleeve. You can also dynamically automate the cursor positioning. Let's see the example. I want to first insert this short phrase here, and then I want to add additional text to the end of the line in the text editor. Now, here you can see many options for what you could do with the cursor. I'll select Line End to instruct fast keys to move to the end of the line and add a text to follow. Let's see. I'll move to the line beginning, trigger my abbreviation, and wow, that was really fast. I hope you saw that. In addition to expanding the phrase, Fast Keys added this text at the end of the line. Pretty neat. It's unlimited how many ways you can automate cursor positioning in Fast Keys. Please subscribe to our channel if you like our videos. Also, check out the links below to Fast Keys webpage and Public Dynamics to learn more about me and my public speaking coaching. Thanks so much, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.